I bought this Velbon Video Mate 404 tripod long, long ago, 1998, when I got one of my first little cameras. And it has a lot of features that I've just come to love. And even though it's an old discontinued tripod, it, it is wonderful. It has all these features, even though it's an old tripod, that really allow me to do anything I want with it. Now, I don't have a big heavy camera or anything, just a, at the moment a Sony ZV-1 Mark II. But um, here's, here's what this tripod has always been able to do. So it has this handle, which you can loosen, and it allows you to tilt, tilt the tripod head. And then when it's where you want it, you just tighten the handle. It also has on the side that gray rotating knob that you can loosen and it allows you to swivel the tripod head 360 degrees around. So you can do that. You can tighten it when it's where you want it, if you don't want to swivel it anymore. It uh, has your usual way to raise and lower. Now, this is the way that I've been using it all these years with the Velbon uh, proprietary quick release clips which uh, are discontinued now, but you can still find, find them online if you need extras. But what it is, is that gray lever there. It's hard to do this with one hand and film at the same time. But that releases this, which you can attach to your camera. So you attach your camera in its tripod socket there, and then this slips into the base, and that tightens it down. So that's how I've been using it all these years. But then, with my Sony ZV-1, I wanted a way to uh, have used the Arca Swiss type mounts on this camera and on another camera I have and on tripods and everything. So the little mini tripods as well as this. And so it took me a while to figure out how to do it, but uh, I bought the Ulanzi F38 uh, mounts the bases for the quick release system and then the F38 mounts for cameras. And so here's what I've done. I just attached the um, F38 quick release base onto my quick release um, Velbon quick release mounting piece. And so it just screws into there and it's securely fixed and now I can just put my Velbon quick release mount with the Falcam quick release base and it's solid. And so I can use Felcam quick release mounts. And so I've, I've bought several of these to put on another camera and, um, well, not this on the camera, but 
I put this on a couple of tripods that I, little small tripods that I have. And um, I even bought a base that you can use to put on your camera strap. So you can quickly mount your camera on your camera strap and quickly remove it. But at any rate, let me show you how I can use this. So here's how I use the camera. So I can slide it. Again, it's hard to do this with one hand. Into the base there and it clicks and it's very solid. And if I want to, I could just flip it like this and shoot vertically that way, you know, tightening this down. And that works. But I was a little concerned because I was attaching other things to this cage like a LED light and microphone. Uh, and I was even attaching my uh, an older iPhone I have to use as a monitor uh, to this. And so it was getting kind of side heavy. So I was concerned that, well, maybe it's not as stable as it could be, but it works. But then another, but then another way I could do it is with the Felcam mounting plate on the side of my camera and I can just slide it in. And use it this way. And I feel much better things when I attach it to uh, the small rig cage here it creates kind of a more balanced um, organization so that the center of gravity is more centralized with the center of the tripod instead of kind of hanging over the side here. Probably nothing would have happened, but um, I was concerned that maybe if I wasn't careful, it could tip over. So. Anyway, so I love the small rig cage and I love the Falcam Arca Swiss um, system. Finally, here's the other thing I have just um, installed. Here's a Falcam 38 base, quick release base that they make for putting on a shoulder strap so that you can easily just sling the shoulder strap over your shoulder and drop the camera into the quick release base and anytime you want to use the camera you can either use it with it still in the base or you can easily just remove the camera from the base. Okay here's the final piece this is uh, the quick release plate that they've made to attach to a shoulder strap. And so it has these shoulder strap lugs at two corners. And these release the uh, camera when you want to take it out. And so suppose I wanted to use my camera here. I can just slip it in and it's locked into place here. And so I can have the camera this way when I don't want to use it, but if I do want to use it, I can just either use it with it still on the strap or if I don't want to use the strap. I just 
remove it and use it handheld and then put it back in. So I like it. So having this Falcam mounting plate on the bottom of my camera all the time. And I might even just leave it on the side here too, because there are several times that I do want to shoot vertical videos. And uh, it doesn't really impede me holding it. But uh, I'm loving it. Okay, just thought I'd share a few things that I was uh, doing in regards, well, first in regards to your dilemma about how to position a camera on a tripod so you can shoot vertically.